I know you must have seen most of these messages coming onto your mining app. Now, if you're having issues with the KYC, you have not submitted, you've not gotten a slot to submit your KYC, or you have submitted your KYC and it's yet to be approved. If you have received any of the messages flashing on the screen, then sit back, relax. I will explain exactly what you need to do. Now pay attention to this. Some pioneers will not make it to the open mainnet. A lot of pioneers will lose their Pi coins entirely. Everything they've been mining for years is going to go. If you don't want to be in the category of people that will lose their Pi coin, so I suggest you sit down, relax, take a piece of paper and a pen, and I'll see you after the intro. When I say a lot of pioneers are not going to make it to the open mainnet, it is true. I'm going to take time to explain in details some of the messages you've been seeing on your phone. If you're interested in that, just sit back, relax and listen to me. If you miss any of this, all you need to do is just simply rewind the video or go back to the beginning and watch. I'll take the first image you see on your screen. It says, welcome back. Here you can track your KYC application. Now, if you see this message on your phone, it says you have applied, review in progress. I get a lot of messages asking me, what does this mean? Your application is in progress, but you need to wait. At this point, you cannot do anything. There is nothing expected of you to do. This is the job of the validators to go through your documents and see if everything you have submitted tallies with what your registration says about the app. Now, the second image I'm going to look at is this one. When you see this message, it means that is a restricted country. KYC in this region is on hold until we further investigate regulations. Please check back later. It does not mean that you have been disqualified. What it simply means is that the Pi Network team wants to go through the, your country's regulations so that they can conform with it. And once they confirm that they can actually go ahead with the KYC in your country, you will start receiving slots. The next one you see would be this one. Now this is very, very important. It says complete your migration to keep your Pi. I suggest you listen very carefully because this is actually very, very important. This timer indicates how much time you have left in your six month grace period to complete all the steps in the mainnet checklist. What this simply means is that you have the period, the duration of time that you see on your app to complete your KYC. If other that says that this timer will be paused if there are system issues preventing you from taking the necessary next step. If you come across the timer being stopped or paused on your app, it also does not mean that you have done something wrong or you need to do anything. They are either going through a system maintenance or a system check or something, a glitch in the system that will prevent you from carrying out your KYC successfully. So because of that, they pause your time. It means that you actually still have that duration of period that has been paused to carry out your KYC. Now, if you see this message here that says migrate to mainnet, no need to panic, no need to do anything simply means that you have completed the rest of the checklist and you just have the migration to go. Now at this point, which is the checklist number nine, you don't need to do anything as well. This one is done automatically by the system. You cannot press any button. You cannot apply. You can't send a message. You can't write to them. All you simply need to do is wait. I know a lot of you will be complaining and saying that yes, you've been waiting for a long time at this stage, but the truth is you just need to wait. Remember that at this point, you are actually in a queue. So there are other people who are in front of you and also there are other people who are behind you. So this migration will happen automatically. Like I've always said it before, there is time for the migration. The migration was actually divided in different folds. We have done the phase one, so the phase two is coming up soon. So when the phase two comes up, probably that's when you'll be migrated to the mainnet. For those who are yet to do their KYC or have applied or have seen this message pop up on your 
mining app. This message actually confirms that what I said in the beginning of this video, that not everyone will make it to the open mainnet. Now I will read the deadline to migration for you. Number one is that you have a grace period that started on July 1st, 2024. For some of you, the date might differ. The next one says, complete KYC application within three months and mainnet migration within six months. This simply means that you have a period of three months to make sure you submit the right documents and complete your KYC. Then all in all, within six months, you'll be migrated to the open mainnet. It also says here that the timer will pause for specific system blocks. If you miss one of the deadlines, you're at risk of losing your entire pie. It's written here and it's all over the place. It says if you miss any of it, you are in the risk of losing your entire pie. Now the next steps I'm going to take you through is exactly how you can carry out your KYC so that you don't stand a chance of losing your pie. When you receive the message to KYC, the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you have your documents ready. The documents you are going to supply, the documents you are going to submit for KYC must be available at hand before you begin the process. The best document I always recommend is the international passport. It's easily verifiable and anyone can confirm that this is an international passport of a certain country. The validators will not have issues in validating such documents. Next in line after international passport is a driver's license. If you have a driver's license of your country issued by the government, it could easily also pass for validation. So choose your documents wisely. The next one for some countries is the national identification card. Some people have the national identity card. So when you submit this, it could easily also pass for the identification process. The other documents are also good, but I've just mentioned three important documents that you need to pass the KYC easily. When you have submitted the documents required, the next thing you have to make sure is that you are in a well-lit area. If the environment you are in is a little bit dark, just take yourself outside the house. Make sure you have enough lighting around you before you start the liveliness check. Follow these easy steps and make sure that you do everything I've said one after the other. If you are confused of what I've said, just rewind the video, take yourself back and listen to it thoroughly and follow the steps accordingly as I've mentioned and you have a successful KYC. Support the channel by giving it a thumbs up and share the video to other people. It might be of use to them. My name is Tony and this is Basic Knowledge. Till my next video, keep mining.